Hello, my name is Loretta from Loretta J Creations. Just wanted to shoot out a quick video letting you know um, really where I wrote all my leather jewelry starts. Um, so I go to a local store, pick up some genuine leather remnants. And I just want to show you the, what's in the bag of the remnants just to show you the good quality leather that I get. It's not faux leather. It's not cheap. It's good high grade leather that's going to last for years to come. And then your jewelry is obviously going to last for years to come if the leather is as well. So I just wanted to show you some pieces that I got. This is a nice, I like the grain on this one, as you can see in the lighting. I really like that texture um, for a nice cuff. Nothing like a nice manly cuff because leather and men are coming back. Men are wearing leather again. There's a darker black with some nice grain um then i've got some few more brown scraps somebody really did a nice project and had a lot of little pieces left over and threw them in this bag and i love the fact that they can do this because then i can turn around and take these scraps and turn them into something that i use this would be nice for a nice small wristed cuff um, or even earrings depending upon what i decide to do with it a little asymmetrical piece here might turn that into a cuff, not 100% sure yet. Um, this is a nice big piece that I can do a lot with. Um, and I really grabbed this bag for this ex exact piece here. The grain on this leather is just beautiful, as you can see in the lighting here. So I just wanted to show you basically why, um, what your jewelry starts out as and turns into something so much better and beautiful i put vinyl on i put well heat vinyl anyway so it's never going to come off i just found a new prob um, process with the foil quill made by we are memory collect memory makers i believe it is um they now have this thing called the foil quill and it writes it he basically heats up a little <sighs> heats up inside the element and when it's heated up it then draws I design what I'm going to draw on and then it draws the foil and heats it up and it adheres to the fabric and I did test a piece of leather the other day and this is beautiful I'm not gonna lie I got all three foil quill tips I tried different um I tried two different kinds of foil. One that was, uh, I forget the name of it now, but I had another kind of foil that was heat pressed, but obviously did not work with the foil quill like the We Are Memory um, Keepers brand itself foil. So this was the small, small point tip, the medium, and then that's the deep, um, dark, bolder tip. Um, so that was something that was very interesting to me. I just did a basic Lotus and this one here I did obviously small, medium, and then bold uh, tip, but again, it didn't last, didn't hold. And this was a good, just good piece of leather. I just figured, let me just play with it, test it. And this is going to become my test piece. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep testing other things on it. Cause I already did a boo-boo trying to cut a diamond and it didn't work right. And then you just see the corner here, it kind of cut wonky so that did I couldn't cut the leather any further in that piece so I tore it off because it didn't hold onto my mat like I wanted to um so I had to kind of just toss this to the side and it'll become I'll use the rest of it for other pieces and things like that cut it up but I just wanted to let you know what it starts out as and what it becomes uh so just keep watching videos and checking me out and letting you um, keep watching and seeing what your uh, beautiful leather that I find turns into. All right. Stay tuned. Happy, happy crafting, everyone. Bye.